So now, when, when we study typology, typology is the most it's a fascinating uh, field that you can study in psychology, which is about the human ego, right? In typology, you learn uh, the, the Myers-Briggs system, uh, which comes from the Jungian types. You learn that personality, the personality types are divided in four types, right? Uh, they have been called lately the guardian types, the artisan types, the rational types, and the idealists. Four types. Right? What are these four types? Well, they represent which one of these of the four lower chakras is more exalted. In the guardian types is the first chakra. They are concerned about very concerned about survival, and that's the most important factor for them. In the artisan types is the second one, and they, they have a tendency towards addiction, as the guardians have a tendency to worry about money. What? Worry about money. Oh, yeah. And then in the third chakra, when the third chakra is exalted, that's the rationals. The rationals are all about personal success, right? That is a powerful drive in the rationals. That's why we find a Steve Jobs a rational type, right? Or uh, other great successful business people, very creative. Uh, that are basically a rational types, and they have overexpressed the third center, the solar plexus. So they have a tremendous drive for personal success. Then in the fourth center, you find the idealists obsessing with relationships. Yeah? Obsessing with relationships and how they connect with others, and the, uh, ro the romantic experience, and so on. Each one of these four types has a particular a, a challenge, a one chakra that is overexpressed and is the most challenging for them. I'm not saying that they cannot be challenged by the other chakras. Of course they will. We are all challenged by all four. But there's one that's particularly important, and we need to discover which one it is. In, in your case, right, with the mind-body organism that you're inhabiting. So, the, for example, if you're an idealist type, you will see that the voice in the head will tend to obsess around relationships, right? Relationships, connections, what he said to me, what she said to me, how we are relating, and lots of this thinking here in the head for the idealist will be about relationships. The rationals will be more about personal success, control of their environment. The guardians have a tremendous drive for safety and security, and they will have difficulties to let go at that level. That doesn't mean that a, a, a guardian cannot experience also a, a problem in the second chakra and have an addiction. Of course, anyone can have an addiction. So this, um, the, the, the four types of the Myers Briggs are intimately connected also with the four lower chakras. When you begin to serve others, you are beginning to express the fifth center. The fifth center is very healing, yeah. And then when Karma Yoga, in Karma Yoga, which is the path of service to others, is a very intelligent way of doing this because the minute you begin to bring energy to the expression, creativity, and service to others, what happens is that you draw energy from the lower centers. You draw attention from the lower centers. You are preoccupied most of the day of serving others instead of my personal success or, some, or how much money I'm going to make. So spiritualizing your work is of immense value in the spiritual life and creates immense spiritual healing. 